Good morning, uh, Jason and Sarah. Hey, just wanted to touch base with you. Here we are at uh, 418 Morningside Drive in Fredericksburg, and uh, this is a four bedroom, but it's only three bedrooms uh, uh, to code. Um, they're claiming the other bedroom, um, and it's not, it's not to code. Uh, 220000 for the house. Property taxes are 1600 a year. The house is 44 years old, and it does show its age. We've just been around. I'm going to have one pan down here for you on the sidewalk and stuff and show you possible roof damage and water damage in the sidewalk. Um, the, the steps that you've got here are DIY. Okay, and we've got concrete cracking. The house itself, it's uh, partial wood as far as its uh, exterior goes and then partial brick. I'm going to point something out here on the left as we go in the door. And that will give you, being the fantastic swole you are, a general idea as far as to, to, the, to the extent that maintenance and corrective measures are taken around here. You will be able to notice right here to the left that there's a crescent wrench that's been put on the on the spigot so that they can use that as far as that goes and it looks like it's been there for quite a while. Let's step inside the house. Um, the carpet would need replacing. Uh, there's damage to it as well as as well as uh, as well as stains in it. Um, the room sizes are nice. Uh, typical, you know, 44 year ago type of house as far as sizes go. Just that it's, uh, there's a little smell in here. Ugly carpet. Take around, show you the first floor basement right here. The floor sags a little bit when you walk around too. I need to point that out. Um, you've got this linoleum here, vinyl in the kitchen as far as the floor goes. The, the kitchen's dated. Uh, doesn't look like it's ever really been changed and you'd have to swap out your things. Now, your fireplace out here, this is probably one of the positive parts of it. Good fireplace, no problem there, but you'd have to have it checked out as far as that goes. We've got that, uh, we've got that mosaic type of stuff up on the ceiling. Now, the problem with this is it's an older house, and I'd probably get Carl to take a good look at it to make sure that we didn't have any asbestos problems there. There's also some staining up here that there might have been some water damage. You got a big, you got a big deck on the back. Go out that way. The deck, you know, probably, you know, 15, 20 years old, not as old as the house, and the, the center point of the house. You can tell that. It'd be nice out here nice for yard. barbecues and stuff. Nice large fenced yard, older older uh, fence, but it looks like it's in halfway decent shape, and I don't see any uh, insect born chewing on the wood, so that's positive. Now let's take a look downstairs. Uh, yeah, let's go downstairs first. Down in the basement, the light doesn't work, just to let you know. I don't want to go in the basement. It's okay, so dark. we've just got a partially finished basement, guys. There's nothing special down here, so... Well, uh, my, uh, my producer and camera person uh, won't go down in the basement. <laughs> and so we're going to go upstairs. The bedrooms are large size, okay? Dang. We'll give it that. Ugly. And it's got some staining uh, that I think that. I don't know what that is. What's here in the corner, Jim? The paint. Huh? What's the the paint in this corner? Is it stain? I don't know. It's just a, it yeah. doesn't look like water damage. It just looks like they didn't paint everything out the way it's supposed to be painted out. Um, here's your bedroom. I mean your bathroom. Very dated. Next bedroom. That first one was nasty, by the way. This would be your uh, be your second larger bedroom, and then the third bedroom. Because what they were doing is they're saying downstairs that partially finished basement's their other their other uh, bedroom. But 
The partially finished basement's not per code. Even though there's a walkout, um, it's, it was probably a DIY job. Okay, so let me just, uh, like I said again, we're at uh, 418 Morning Drive, uh, uh, Morningside Drive in Fredericksburg. Uh, give you my uh, 1 to 10 rating on this place. I give it 4 to most out of 10. Uh, needs a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, the return on rent here was 12 to $1,300 to begin with. It wasn't as much as you can see in some other properties. The neighborhood's go good, though. The streets are wide and all that kind of stuff, and there was no HOA. So, there we go. Uh, Lynn, do you have anything else you want to say? Don't make me live here, Jim. <laughs>